the Crimean War. Medicine, Publicity, Technology. I attribute my success to this. I never gave or took an excuse. Florence Nightingale. The Crimean War started in 1853 and ended in 1856 and was fought on the Crimean Peninsula. On one side was the Russians, but the other side was made up of the French, British, and the Turkish. Florence Nightingale was a very ambitious woman in the midst of the Crimean War, and when she went out to the hospital to help with British soldiers, what she found was horrifying. There was a massive shortage of medicine, no sanitary sheets, towels, or clothes. Every soldier had fleas, lice, and other bugs in their clothes. Most of the soldiers there weren't even wounded from the war, rather sick from the conditions with dysentery, cholera, or even typhoid or typhus. But Miss Nightingale with her 38 volunteer nurses were there to change that. The first thing they did was get 200 Turkish towels. They then got lots of clean clothes for the soldiers so they don't have to live with hundreds of bugs every day. And one of the most important things that she did was provide necessities such as soap, plates, knives, and other utilitarian items. The Crimean War was the first war in history that was widely considered to have been publicized greatly. In the wars before the Crimean War, people may have heard about how brutal war is, or how horrible war is, but no one but the soldiers ever really saw what war looked like. The only thing the public eye had to help imagine what war was like were the paintings that may or may not be accurate. There's not going to be a guy sitting there on a stool painting on a canvas during the Trojan War. There's not going to be someone painting on a mural during the Battle of Lexington and Concord during the Revolutionary War. So people got to see what war was like through pictures. Obviously, for people in today's world, pictures don't explain as much because we have videos and virtual reality. Imagine if some sort of new technology came out that let you experience war without putting you in any danger. Photos allowed you to see what war was like because there was a physical visual. Back in 1856, pictures really were worth a thousand words. The Crimean War was a technological enterprise and here's why. New things like the military railway and the steamship were viewed as useless or inefficient, but the Crimean War changed that stereotype. The steamship, which was viewed as useless, was actually very useful as the naval warfare was developing and they could be used as gunships. Another use for the steamship is that it can easily transport men and products such as weaponry, food, and ammunition. The military railway, on the other hand, did not transport soldiers, but was inescapably more efficient at transporting said products. Civil engineer Samuel Morton Pito created a military railway specifically for transporting goods as efficiently as possible. The most useful thing to come out of the Crimean War is definitely the telegraph, since you could then send messages quicker than ever before. Before this, you would have to travel to the place you wanted to send a message to, or write a letter. The telegraph simplified this process so much so that you could warn allies of an offensive without having to travel the distance and waste time. You can also use the telegraph to spread information to lots of people quicker. You won't have to tell everybody, then you can just send out a message that everyone will get.